So much of what is known about the antebellum South came from writers like William Gilmore Sims. Sims was born on April 17, 1806 in Charleston, South Carolina. Two years later, his mother died. His father, distraught over the death of his wife, left William to be raised by his grandmother, an avid storyteller who gave Sims his earliest exposure to storytelling. In the mid-1820s, when he was still just a teenager, Sims published his first book, an epic poem called Monody. It was not until 1833 that Sims published his first fictional work, Martin Faber, The Story of a Criminal. His next work was a major romance known as Guy Rivers, A Tale of Georgia. The success of those two works launched Sims' career as a fiction writer. Through the completion of 30 novels, William Gilmore Sims depicted a number of thematic ideas through the course of his writing. He achieved this through three major literary series, The Colonial, The Revolutionary, and The Border Series. Sims also wrote three major biographies. I think that he was struggling to find uh, the definition of honor and the definition of heroism. Beginning in the 1840s, Sims began to believe that the North and South were becoming culturally separate regions and that continuing as a unified country would be difficult. Many within the literary realm revered Sims as a prolific writer. Melville and Hawthorne felt that America needed to establish a culture and literature that was uniquely American. Author Edgar Allan Poe claimed that Sims was the best writer working in America.